YouTubers and welcome to my next video game review. Today I review Uncharted Drake's Fortune, which is the first in the series of the Uncharted uh, games. Um, so yeah, as you can see I've got the PS4 Collector's Edition with the first three Uncharted games um, remastered for the PS4. So, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. So, <laughs> the video game reviews continue. The first in a very popular series of games, um, which I believe this game actually came out in 2007. Yeah, wow, so a long time ago. <laughs> uh, 12 years ago. But, um, yeah, so the essential story of this is that basically the whole thing is a modern day version of Indiana Jones, essentially. Uh, we focus on <clears throat> this uh, treasure hunter called Nathan Drake, and uh, he is going in search of the city of El Dorado to find some treasure, uh, along with his pal Sullivan and a journalist named um, Elena. And together they have to fight off the villains and uh, stop them from stealing the treasure before they do. So it's, it's very simple. It's essentially a treasure hunt movie. And yeah. <clears throat> so. Uncharted. Drake's Fortune. This is a great game. It's great. I don't think it's the best of the Uncharted games. For my money it's possibly the weakest. But it's still a very good game. Um, I really enjoy this game. I mean, I just played it again recently just to give you the review. I, I mean, this wasn't the first Uncharted game that I actually played. I actually first played the second one, but then I did go back and play this one, um, after I got the third one as well. So I played them out of order, but, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, <clears throat> this is quite an old game and it's the first one, but I really like it. I think it's a ton of fun and it knows what it is. It's a fun action game. Um, it's, it's pretty basic, um, <laughs> and it works. Um, obviously with this, um, we sort of head towards the, the jungle, uh, the Amazonian jungles and, and stuff to, for this one, um, which is good. I mean, I only have a couple of sort of criticisms of this game. Um, the, the, I mean, the story itself, there isn't much to it. It is quite basic and it is very much like Indiana Jones, but what works about this game is the fact that it's it, it feels quite cinematic it actually i mean more so in the sequels but this one has its moments where you kind of feel like you're playing a movie or at least parts of a movie and also the dialogue and the characters um and the script is is all works as, as if it could work as a movie i mean the characters are very interesting nathan drake is a great protagonist he's he's really cool um he's basically he is a bit different to Indiana Jones um, in the sense that he's more of a wisecrack um, and he's a bit more narcissistic. He's kind of loves himself a bit more. Um, although they both have a passion for history, but Jones is a teacher. He's a professor, so he's much more mature than Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake is yet to become more mature <laughs> as the series progresses. But in this first entry, he's pretty cool. And he's also quite young in this one as well. So... And I like the relationship he has with Sullivan, Victor Sullivan, who's his, his mentor, essentially. He's not his dad, but he's his mentor. And their relationship gets explored a bit more in Uncharted 3, which we'll get to. I'm going to review all of the games. Um, and we play, as, we play as Drake for the entire game. Um, but we also see Elena, he, um, the, the love interest. She's this journalist. She's working with him to basically, you know give a story for the press, she's got a camera with her, and she's doing a lot of researching, um, <laughs> she's really cool, I like Elena, she, will see her again as well, we'll definitely see her again as the series progresses, um, and she plays a big part in, um, Uncharted 4, which is the final game, um, but the gameplay is pretty cool, I mean, you basically, um, bas it's basically kind of like an action game, you have to go, you have to take cover behind obstacles, shoot the guards, and, melee um that stuff all works fine it's it's pretty good for this time and you do have to do a lot of climbing um the controls aren't as fluid as i think they could be or well, certainly as they will be in the next few games i mean the next game improves it so much you won't believe but um 
it's pretty good for the first one, although there are times when you're playing it, and it is kind of frustrating because it's very frustrating because there are times when you just have to try and you have to be very careful how you jump across. In the in the later games, it's easier to jump across, and he'll literally grab things is much more easily. With this one, he'll either slide that way or he'll kind of just fall off um, if you try and, you know, because he's meant to grab a ledge um, and sometimes he won't. So it makes it a little bit more frustrating. But aside from those frustrations, it's a good game and I love the action combat gameplay and the, the guns and the weapons are really good. This game packs a good challenge as well. It does, it, it does become the most repetitive of the Uncharted games, but that's, I think, because we're in the same place for the entire game. I think that's because we are in, we are in, uh, in the jungle for the entire game. So yeah, we're in the jungle for the entire game, which, uh, um, in a way I would have liked them to explore a few more locations. This, we're, we're kind of confined to the jungle, um, Oh, so as I was saying, um, we are very confined to the jungle, so I would have preferred the game to actually go to other places as well, but this is a problem that resolves itself in the sequels. Uh, <clears throat> it's not a major complaint. <laughs> so, and uh, it's fun. I mean, the graphics are great. I mean, if you pick up the PS4 collection, um, the graphics will improve, so... If you get pick the original PS3 version, the graphics probably will look slightly more dated. But um, I can't deny, this is a really fun game. Um, I will say the villains are a little bit shit, <laughs> to be honest. There's like three villains. Um, you've got Eddie, who is this kind of weasel. He's kind of this idiot. <laughs> he, he doesn't... I mean, all of the villains just don't do anything. They, they don't feature very much in the game. You don't really get to have boss battles with them, except one of them at the very end, and it's not even much of a boss battle, Navarro. I mean, that that last uh, chapter of the game can be a little bit frustrating, because um, he's got a, a, a laser, he's got a, a gun, the, the sniper with the laser. So that doesn't really help. <laughs> but uh, Roman and Eddie are both useless, they don't get to do anything in the game really. You see him for a few cutscenes, but you don't get to face him. So I would have liked a few more boss battles. Um, yeah, but I think Uncharted 2 uh, would improve that. Also, the game is paced well. It doesn't drag itself on too long as well. There are some puzzles which appear at first to be mind-bendingly difficult, but they're actually quite easy when you get your head around it. So they're, they're very clever in the way they've done that. Um, those puzzles, which which are great, I have to say. Uh, they will test you. So they've done their research. They've, they've tried to make the game challenging, which is good. It's not just all the same. And you get to use, for those puzzles, you get the assistance of Drake's journal, uh, Nathan Drake's journal, which features notes and stuff that he's made, which are clues as to, to kind of help you, really. Which, is, which I think is really cool and really interesting. Um, I think for, I mean, for the first game, it's, I think it's basic, it's fine, it's fun. And it will do. It's a good way to sort of just spend a few hours just shooting. I mean, it's th th there, this game isn't actually the most difficult of the Uncharted games. There are just parts of it which are frustrating. Uh, there are more difficult sections in the next few games <laughs> where they really amp up the stakes. But for this first game, it's pretty good. Um, and it's actually got quite a few good characters, which is why I think it actually stands as being quite good for its own thing. Even though the whole thing is ripped off of Indiana Jones, but uh, a modern day version. Um, and I think it works as a game. It really works as a game. I couldn't see the Uncharted series making it to a film. Also, the music for this game is great. I really like the soundtrack for this game. Um, also, um, if you get, if when you're <laughs> in combat, when you get shot, um, the screen will sort of go black and white. I mean, if you get shot once by a sniper, you're dead. And then the, the, it kind of makes a sound. It goes... Dum. It's like a string sound. I mean, it, it changes a bit for the sequels. Um, but it's still still um, interesting. So it's just, you know, helpful hints and tips. And you also get to use grenades as well, which is really cool. Some of the guns are really impressive. And you get to jump in turrets as well. Um, 
I think the environments are great. I mean, the, I think the, the only parts that I found really did annoy me were the speedboat sections. There's a couple of speedboat sections which do drag on a bit too long. Because you have to kind of go fast and then you have to stop and then aim and then shoot. It's not really ideal, to be honest. <laughs> it's um, it's It becomes difficult, especially with the strong current that you're working against. You have to shoot the barrels in the water and you have to shoot the guards and... That that part is really aggravating, but other than that, this is a solid game. Great start to the Uncharted series. Probably my least favourite of the series, but it's still good. I mean, well, it's probably better than Lost Legacy, but um, and it's got great characters, a decent story, and it's fun. It's a ton of fun, and it does exactly what it's meant to do. But it ain't the best. The best is yet to come. Believe me. So, uh, as a final score, I'm going to score Uncharted Drake's Fortune an 8 out of 10. Great game, really great. Not not perfect, but great. Um, I also love the opening theme music that we get in the main menu. The da 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 da. Really, really fantastic theme. It gets stuck in your head. I can't help but hum it whenever I get on an Uncharted game and I'm just playing it. I'm like, oh, this is great music. Um, so yeah, and obviously I've used it for this review. So, that's my review of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. What do you think of this game? Please put your comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Stay tuned for my review of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, which is the next game. So until then, thank you guys all for watching. And as always, I'm Mr. Talis11. See ya.